we're going to view the Ram 1500 Rebo of the 2020 and Ram Flatbed for 2016. We all well, this is how we're going to plan our video today. First thing is going to be taught about exterior. We'll see some parts for the exterior we like and what we dislike and maybe some op optional choices sometimes as we do in some of our older videos though it's not very common and um, the second thing we'll do is about talk about interior we're not going to actually enter the car but i'm going to tell you what i do what it's in the car and what maybe sometimes i tell you what's good and bad but uh, for this video i'm not too sure i will and that and for thought about interior i will just show you one part of the task body which is normally the side and front or back and side i normally don't do just straight ones and la and the thing after that i'll tell you about the price the price range and the, sadly the price range is still the end of of december price lists of 2022 as we haven't really got over the point yet but it'll be out for seven days so another point i'll tell you is the price range it might be changing a little i i've seen it as little drops and stuff and there's some new specs maybe new specific specifications during during this type and then we'll have the new type but telling you um i don't think the looks and interior will have a big change uh, it's normally only one like for example um i've been telling that the tia serato they've got a new version but the outside is nothing different except the brand thing so that's what i mean the looks will the looks won't change too much or maybe it's the interior that doesn't change and the looks that change yeah but anyway and the last thing we'll do is uh, the winner will hand a medal for the winner and i'll tell you why they won and maybe some stuff i'll tell you some other stuff at the end sometimes but let's start with the um exterior part and last thing i tell you is we normally start with the ram and ram 1500 rebo and then always have the blue one second that's what we normally do but we might have some changes this time but um normally i'd say a more of a family type will win so in this case i think the ram will win because the ram rebo or the one the silver one that one i think it's more of a family type yeah it has two rows while the other one only has one row so it's a reason why i'll choose that but we're not too sure who's going to win though i'm sure i've already picked you the answer because i'm sure it'll be that one but to make sure and to make some uh, and to see what the tie is like you can go on with the video and then you'll see the real answer it may be or maybe not we'll see maybe maybe not okay let's start with the ram now the front of the ram it has a six-sided really and for the really it says ram and for the older type the dodge one it has the cross one which is yeah it's the older type anyway the six-sided one it's a bit like a hexagon and the lights they look pretty nice but what i've been i tell you most about on the front is the square air release i like the shape i like that but i'd rather have it as no air really though it's a nice use that they put it on and use the different color to make it look nice and then yeah but i'd rather do it as no air really and a bit of shape that's what i'll prefer or either a small ones at the start of the engine but having this look and the back part that comes out having these it looks pretty nice as most people well, most people that buy the RAM, not most people, the most people that ride, buy the RAM will actually like that as it's a nice choice, I think. But it's just the size and it's you that can change it. But still, it's a pretty nice use how RAM just camouflaged it in.
Let's go to the side. On the side, there's nothing really much to tell you, but there's two main things I'll tell you about. The first thing is about the RAM writing, where it says RAM, it's pretty normal, but I like how it's at the front, not holding the whole bottom or doing, or it's in the exact middle. It's just, it's not unique in what it has, but the where it is put. I like these types of units, not too different from others, but a little different. So people that buy the other tiles will go like, okay, yeah, that's what we'll buy because it's a tiny bit unique. Yeah, that's what some most people that buy the RAM will think, as I know. But um, that's the thing what I told you. But the re reball thing at the back is different. It needs money. It needs at a five hundred or six hundred dollars, depending if you have the stripe for it. But anyway, if I like that, yeah, I like the shape. I don't like adding extra money for this. So I won't really go for it. But if, you, if you're going for racing or something like that, then it's better to have it. And some people just like it. They just like the Lord, which is, yes, okay. Let's go to the back. Here at the back, it says Ram. And there's nothing really much to tell about here. But the red lights, they look rather nice. But... The more I'll tell you is on the other for the back. But one thing I'll tell you on the top is there. Of course, since it's a very expensive car, it does have a choice for sunglasses. And for the back, it has black and silver, a mixture, which is pretty nice. Let's go to the other now. On the front, it looks rather nice, but it has the Dodge really since it's a 2016 version. Since a few years ago, it was still with Dodge, but it had the luckiest state of leaving Dodge just before Dodge left Australia. So that's pretty neat. Leaving and then like, uh, like the boat's coming there, he, do he goes off and like in a few seconds, the boat just leaves. That's what it's kind of like, a lucky escape. It's actually kind of a long story of when... The, the dodge started with the types and then the and then the charger of the muscle cars and then kind of being one of the most best muscle cars next to the Mustang and the Camaro and then now going up to the new dodge charger that is a sedan and now leaving Australia just leaving the ram behind safely. It's lucky escape. That's what I taught it. The lucky escape. Since I kind of like how Ram escapes, since I don't really like the Charger or any other dodges, but I kind of just like the Ram. So it's kind of what I told the lucky escape. Let's go to the side. The side, it's not really much to tell you, but about the back, the title thing. I have told you before in the 2022 tour of the year of pit up tracks, and anyway. The this is from Cardo Couriers, and it's for all. Okay. Anyway, this RAM, the bat is a choice. It's a $1,500 choice, which is pretty neat since this is the RAM 1500 And it, this is neat, but there's something more neat. Since you have to put it on... <laughs> It's, it's expensive, but some people just don't need the back, which is something that's neat for people who don't need it. They don't, they don't use the money. The extra money is counted in because they won't want that just to get a thing off. And normally it's cheaper, so this is what I thought. Pretty nice, but let's go to the back. I haven't said this in a while, but this is one of our rather long videos since only another part of the year video was about this long at this time. Since this is only a two versus two, a two compa comparison, which is very rare for us to have one so long, though most have at least like 20 minutes. It's rare for us to have a long one, so it's a nice congratulations for us to reach a long video for these, to actually get in of the topic. But 
never that but there's something else you need to discuss about if there's anything you want to tell us in the comments leave it for us if it if you think there's anything to do with the exterior but we'll have one more last part about the exterior for these cars and then we'll have a part in the interior price which is a short one or two minutes and then we'll have a winner which is at least in only 15 and 13 minutes okay the lights the lights well it's under there which is a nice choice because if it was higher then if you didn't want the box then you wouldn't have any lights which is not at all safe so if it's too low it's not as safe so if you add a 500 to 700 dollars then you should put the light on the title if you have a title but anyway let's go to this fun part the interior for the ram well the RAM, you have a 10.25 inch touch screen and um, the, everything is pretty neat. You, you like the seat since it says RAM or whatever number it is. And if, if, if it's a Rebo or the, high, the other high spec, which I think it is Rebo or actually it's TRX, whatever, it's the this ram it's pretty nice since it says the spec on the seats and for the back row it's also pretty neat since you have lots of headroom knee room and toe room since it's a pickup truck and for the other one we won't have as much room which is a shame since they're both rams and one's not the family but it's higher so it's a bit better at off-roading but the ram it takes a lead in those rock off-roading while the other one's a lead in water off-roading but still if you're going in bumps in the water off-roading then none of them can do the job but that's not not a lot of people will do that since that's only in crete which are very low since that gives a manage to the ram family one who gives a better manage in that but never mind let's go to the other one and then we'll talk about boot space which i forgot about this one since it only has one row it's much easier the front row has lots of sp has also lots of headroom knee room and toe room but the headroom is a bit lower as i have mentioned like a minute ago um the interior the screen is a 9.5 patch screen which is which is smaller by 0 0.75 which is, yeah, it's pretty good size difference, but since it's, the people who do this may, may not use it as much. But, never mind. Let's enter the price, the boot, and then we'll have our winner. And it's since such a fun one, we might even hand out a double awards. For the one for the best exterior and interior, and the one for the best safety, boot space, and money. That might what we do, and if it's a tie, then I know what we'll do. But that's for later. If you compare boot space like that, you might get tripped. But in line, it's like this versus this, which is the same size. But at the back, it's the the work the work one that's a bit smaller and the written out the family one's a bit deeper but it has the wheel circle part which the other has doesn't have but still all together it's still the family one that has more boot space now it's only price and we'll have awards and maybe double ram this one the rebo is one thousand is actually 14 $148,000 but that's the Rebo spec if you're talking about the specs then it's $82,000 to the TRX which is $19,000 which is $199,000 but it's rounded to $200 since it's $199,950 we'll round that to that and for the other one this this flatbed the flatbed is a tiny bit cheaper from seven to eight thousand dollars to eight one hundred and eighty six thousand dollars which is a tiny bit cheaper since it's the work ones the family ones you're of course tots a bit more expensive 
but that's for the whole price line. For the rebuild for that, it's a it's also one four one four, but it's one thousand one hundred and forty six, which is only two two thousand dollars cheaper. So it's not a go ahead. Okay, from the exterior and stuff altogether, the exterior I hand the thing to the 2016 but for the money price and stuff i ended to the 1500 which leads to a tie which means whatever i've been planning has gone into use and that means that the one that i think is the best wins and I think the family one is the best, which takes it to the family one's first place. But if you have need the work one, yeah, they have to use that one. And I'll just take a lot to tell you that the two thousand five hundred is one hundred and sixty three thousand dollars to one hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars. It has a smaller price range, but it's bigger, but it has a smaller price range. And I'll tell you for the 1500 the specs are its best quad cab, its best crew cab, its best crew cab ram box, warlock crew, uh, crew cab ram box, lamy crew cab, lamy crew cab ram box, and limited crew cab ram box, finishing with the TRX. That's the 1500 <laughs> pipes. And the other one for the 2500 is Laramie Crew Tab and Lamarie Crew Tab Brand Box, which is only two specs. Which, yeah, it's a pretty nice spec, but, but, it's, but it's time to have the last and final stuff. The first thing is please watch our last video since they sound very different. And the last one was four months ago as we were celebrating Christmas, Chinese New Year and some other stuff. But that was in September, which is, yeah, I could have more time, but, yeah. But we started early and stuff. But whatever, I'll tell you one more thing. Please subscribe um, and take like and have a comment to see if this video was good or bad. And if you want to have anything you suggest to have a video for, which has to be... A car that's pretty nice sales in America and America. So it has to be good in sales in America. Otherwise, I'm sure we won't have time to do those. Since if they're like lower, yeah. I don't think we'll do as much as those. Anyway, it's time to say the last and final words. Bye and see you next time. Ram 1500 and the new AUTPS 2023 and it's for the new year. Bye, see you next time.